London can feel overwhelming because there's so much to see and do in the capital city. Sit tight because we've got the perfect list of some of London's top attractions. In our vlog, we give you practical information for visiting 10 of London's best tourist spots. Number 10 on our list of must-see things in London is Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace is known around the world as the home of the British monarch. Visitors to the palace can expect to see the staterooms furnished with items from the royal collection. From July to August, the hours are 11.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. and from September to October, 9.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. The staterooms are closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Buckingham Palace is also known for its changing of the guard ceremony. The changing of the guard ceremony happens at 11 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And in June and July, the ceremony happens every day. The changing of the guard ceremony is free, but to enter the palace, it's 30 pounds for adults. Buying tickets ahead of time is recommended, but they're also on sale at the visitor center. Typical visit to Buckingham Palace is around two to three hours. If you're there for the changing of the guard ceremony, it lasts about 45 minutes. We highly recommend getting to the changing of the guard ceremony a little early so you can get a good spot. Number nine on our list of must-see things in London is Hyde Park. Hyde Park is the largest of the royal parks. It's located in the heart of London and it got its start as the hunting grounds for Henry VIII. Now it's a place for locals and visitors to relax and unwind. A trip to London isn't complete without a walk through Hyde Park. Since the 19th century, Hyde Park has been the location for debates and demonstrations at the famous Speaker's Corner. It's also home to the Serpentine Lake for swimming and boating. Hyde Park is open every day from 5 a.m. to midnight. We recommend entering Hyde Park through Marble Arch. Marble Arch is in the northeast corner of Hyde Park and it's a 19th century white marble triumphal arch. Hyde Park is free to enter. If you're interested in boating on Serpentine Lake, a 60 minute boat hire will cost you 11 pounds 25 pence. A typical visit to Hyde Park will last about two to three hours. Number eight on our list of must see things in London is Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey was founded by monks and it's one of the most important Gothic buildings in England. It has hosted coronations and royal weddings and is the final resting place of 17 monarchs. In fact, the new king's coronation will take place at Westminster Abbey on May 6, 2023. Westminster Abbey is open Monday to Saturday from 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. and it's open on Sunday for services. Guided tours occur at 10.30, 11, 11.30, and 2 p.m. The ticket price for Westminster Abbey is £27 and it can be purchased online. If you want a guided tour of the Abbey, it's an additional £10. The guided tour can only be booked when you arrive. The guided tours of Westminster Abbey last 90 minutes. Without a tour, expect to spend between 1-2 to two hours exploring the Abbey. Number 7 on our list of must-see things in London is Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. Arguably the most famous clock in the world, Big Ben is the nickname for the great bell of the famous clock. It's located in the Elizabeth Tower at the north end of the Palace of Westminster. If you're interested in learning more about the UK Parliament, definitely take a tour of the Houses of Parliament. Currently, restoration work is happening on the clock tower, so tours have been suspended. But to get great views of Big Ben, go to the Westminster Bridge or go on the other side of the River Thames. As tour dates and times change for visiting the Houses of Parliament, be sure to check out their calendar for availability. A guided tour of the Palace of Westminster is £29, but if you're a UK resident, the tour is free. The tour lasts 90 minutes and it includes the House of Commons, House of Lords, and Westminster Hall. Number six on our list of must-see things in London is Shakespeare's Globe. Shakespeare's Globe is a theater and cultural landmark located along the River Thames. You can experience Shakespeare's Globe in several ways, through a guided tour or by attending one of their many plays. Guided tours are typically available from 10 to 4 p.m. The price for the Globe Theater guided tour is 18 pounds 70 pence. The Globe Theater guided tour lasts 50 minutes and the price to attend a performance at the Globe varies from £25 all the way to £62 for a seated ticket and £5 for standing tickets. Be sure to check out their calendar for the exact dates and prices. Number 5 on our list of must-see things in London is Harrods. 
Harrods is one of the most famous department stores in the world. Located in the Knightsbridge area of London, Harrods is a high-end luxury shopping destination. Even if you don't plan on buying anything, a visit to Harrods is a fun experience and worth your time. Harrods is open Monday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sunday from 11.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's completely free to enter Harrods. Number four on our list of must-see things in London is St. Paul's Cathedral. St. Paul's is an Anglican cathedral known for hosting the wedding of Prince Charles and Princess Diana. The cathedral is open Monday to Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. for sightseeing. However, on Wednesdays, it opens at 10 a.m. Be sure to check out their calendar for dates and times for the worship services. It's free to worship at St. Paul's Cathedral and you don't need a ticket, but if you'd like to do sightseeing at the cathedral, entry is 18 pounds. If you'd like a guided tour, they are free with your entrance ticket and can be booked on arrival. A visit to St. Paul's Cathedral typically lasts between one to two hours. Number three on our list of must-see things in London is Borough Market. London is known for its fabulous markets and we recommend visiting as many as you can, but if you only have time to visit one market in London, make it Borough Market. Borough Market is one of the largest and oldest markets in London. Borough Market is open Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday from 8 to 5, and Sunday from 10 to 3. If you're looking for some of the best coffee in London, head to Monmouth where an iced coffee is £3.60. We also highly recommend the Toasty from Kappa Case and Dairy for £7. A visit to Borough Market is typically around 1-2 to two hours. Number 2 on our list of must-see things in London is the V&A Museum. Although London has plenty of world-class museums, from the British Museum to the Science Museum, Natural History Museum, and Tate Modern, if we only had time for one museum, we'd make it the V&A. The Victorian Albert Museum is the world's leading art and design museum, housing over 2.8 million objects. The V&A Museum is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and on Friday it's open late until 10 p.m. The V&A Museum is free to enter, but some of the exhibitions and events have a charge. It would take days to see everything at the museum, but a typical visit usually lasts between two to three hours. And number one on our list of must-see things in London is Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge is one of London's defining landmarks. Often mistakenly called London Bridge, Tower Bridge is one of the most recognizable structures in the world. Tower Bridge is open to visitors from 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you don't want to pay for the tour of Tower Bridge, we recommend admiring it from Potter's Field Park. The cost for a self-guided ticket is £11.40. The ticket includes the towers, walkways, glass floors, and engine room. It's £20 for the guided tour ticket. The guided tour lasts for 90 minutes and happens on Saturdays and Sundays. Those are our top 10 things to see in London. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tell us in the comments your favorite London attraction.